Hello, so let's have a look at coercion. What we're going to be doing is looking at a generic struct. So rather than specifying integer or float, we just put in t for generic. So it's same as you'd do normally if you, if you were using an integer, except the angle brackets after the name of the struct. Um, from the top, allow unused, that's just so that you don't end up with all of the other bits and pieces showing when you compile it which i've not got anyway so i didn't even need it um derive debug so that's so that you can use print successfully with your struct um so first thing m m is a u32 of n and N was an I32, so N as U32. The default for a number in Rust is I32. So we just want to change it from an I32, which is signed, to U32, which is unsigned. Fairly, uh, fairly standard stuff there. Right, next, we're actually going to use, or we're actually going to use the struct but again, rather than it being the F64 default, we're going to coerce it to be F32. So if you see here what I've highlighted or put in the comments, you do the two colons and then F32. So without that, uh, just get rid of that. Do you see how it's an F64 in the light green? So if I put that back, there we go. It jumps around a bit because I've got the type hints enabled, but you get the idea. So by default, it's an F64. I've changed it to tell it to be an F32. So I compile it. It runs. Right. So it's a bit like, I don't know if you come across the turbo fish, but it's, you've got the, the two colons, or the, the two double colons, followed by... Um, a numeric type inside the angle brackets and then you might have the parentheses if it was like the turbo fish but here because we're using a struct we've got the curly braces right next um just how to because we're using a float we could end up with a really long load of trailing decimal places so which when we print it we're just going to do the standard print of a struct but instead we just do dot two and that'll print it to two decimal places. So there we see one four five dot two zero. And that is the answer to width times height. So yeah, twelve times twelve. Uh, twelve point one times twelve. Um without that, I'll just let me take that out. And um, we're on it. And you see <clears throat> you've actually got 145.200001 on the end. So, yeah, you don't really want that. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, tickly throat. Right, next, uh, just a quick one. Just change it to a three. So, this should be 5.622. Yeah, so it's three decimal places. So, yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, the main thing to remember is to use. <coughs> Excuse me. To use the um does anyone remember Bob Fleming on the Fast Show? I feel like him. It was a it was a comedy character who always got a tickly throat when he was on to, when he was presenting. Apologies for that. Um Yeah, so just remember to use the two dots with the pointy brackets with the type inside if you are trying to coerce the values of a generic struct. So this is quite good practice, really, for using a generic struct and for coercing or coercion. Call it whichever you prefer. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.